here at Newberry Park High School with Sean Brosson, the head coach for cross country and track and field for the Panthers of Newberry Park. Recently we're here on campus. Today Gatorade announced Nico Young, the cross country national athlete of the year, and was in contention for the all sports Gatorade athlete of the year. The Gatorade award is by far the most prestigious high school sports award out there. You had mentioned in a sense that when Nico first got notified of the state one, he thought at first it was a national one and he kind of like, right. he was chomping at the bit about that. Uh, being around him and him talking about it, how much do you think that award means to him for what he's, what he's achieved? I think, it, I think the award does mean a lot to him because he knows the other great names on the list. The records that Nico would like to attempt or has attempted and, and so forth um, are the names of the greats. You know that that get that award. You know everything from you know Drew Hunter to, I mean everyone that won him. I, I think he uh, he thought he could be in contention for it after winning the state, but I think you know coming in today it was a good surprise. You know I think it was maybe just validation of all the work that he's put in and that hey I did have that dream season that we keep talking about. Right. There, there are so many factors that come into Gatorade. Obviously performance on the on the athletic field. Yeah. But there are also community service grades, there's a few factors, yeah. so there's always a chance it might go another direction. Sure. Of course, Nico checks all the boxes, and of course, he's a phenomenal student in a sense. Um, he had quite the season all around. It's pretty incredible. What impressed you the most about how his season went this year? I mean, what impressed me the most, it, it's funny, um, I mean, obviously, well, well, number one, I don't think the kid gets rattled. I mean, I think he, nothing seems to rattle him. We, we, we kind of made some announcements of things that we wanted to accomplish, what he wanted to accomplish, probably prematurely, and I think a lot of people found out about it, and he went out there and did it. You know, I don't think anything, you know, scares him, but what impressed me the most, I, I mean, it may be cliche, but that national meet, you know, right before he went on the line, he sat next, well, on the bus ride over there, he sat next to me on the bus, reassured the plan, wanted to know if this was the and I said yes it's the right plan he told me he didn't sleep that well the night before I said it doesn't matter um, he slept enough it wasn't like he didn't sleep at all and you know he was probably a little nervous definitely but you know once I see him do strides on the, on the course I knew he was ready but to, to watch him go out there and take the lead and to take control of that I mean that was the plan I just you know it's when you have the plan you want it to come together you just to see it happen was pretty amazing so that that was a, a special moment as a coach you know to see it happen and, and to and to work because I'm telling him to do this I'm going if this doesn't happen <laughs> it's my fault I just thought he was strong enough and I, I didn't think anybody could run with them on that day you know there was some great talent in that field and you know I think could have been different maybe if they did things a little bit differently but they right. they didn't go and it just it happened so. regardless of if somebody else did it differently or not I mean he appeared to be coming in the class of the field and he sure came out the class of the field and we've seen a lot of signs leading up and since obviously yeah um, so it's a fine line but you know you mentioned this you you've seen him in workouts you know what he's capable of yeah you know what he could do he did it uh, and as you mentioned it was a good feeling to actually see it come to fruition but were you surprised at how dominant he looked? Even though you know how good he is, yeah. just how dominant he looked that day compared to everybody else? You know, I, I think it would surprise me because there was a few guys I've never seen race. You yeah. know, he's run against some of the great ones and, you know, Strangio in there. Uh, Leo wasn't there, but he ran against them. So I saw him compete against them and knew where he was at. But, um, you know, I didn't know how Josh was going to run. I, I, I didn't, he was an unknown for me. So, and Nico too, but I felt from what I saw, I really believed nobody could run with him. I didn't think anybody could. And I don't, you know, Nico believed it too. You know, that's the great thing about Nico. I feel like, you know, I'm not going to tell him something that's not true and that I don't think is true. And he believes what I say. And, you know, I don't, I don't want to sound, I, I, I really wasn't. I, I saw him at a, I saw him at a mile. I knew, I knew he won. I mm -hmm. knew he had it. There was no way he was going to let them catch him. I, there was just no way. I saw him at 3K, and I was like, okay, he has this. Now where's the rest of my team? But he, um, it, it was a great job done. I was, I was very, very proud to watch him do it. So at midseason, the close invitational, he runs 14:29 at the World Park Course, number two all time. At the time, I had mentioned uh, it wasn't as as impressive a performance that I'd seen because of Herman Fernandez when he did it when it was not ideal conditions in a sense. Right. Uh, but the scary part about it was uh, Nico ran that fast without putting it all out there. Right. And it's kind of like, Jesus, when he really actually lays it out, what can this kid do? Right. And part of me wanted to see him go ahead and, and let loose at, at, at state to see what he could do. But in reality, as being a fan of the sport, 
uh, knowing how you do things and the plan has always been to basically be ready for nationals, I was kind of happy with that. Um, even though he ran well again at state, again, he mentioned he wasn't going all out. And right. he, did, he wasn't, I think sometimes when you say that, people can assume he's being cocky and such. Right. And he's really a level-headed kid. But to me, it was kind of like chomping at the bit, looking at what's happening at nationals. And the nationals, we see it all happen, where he just throws a hammer down. And for the first time, everyone gets to see exactly how good this kid is. Sure.